Rebecca, the frugal resinista coming at you here. I'm um, just going to do a real quick tutorial for you on some alcohol ink that I've been working on. I um, am using today um, Stone Coat Countertop Quick Coat resin that dries really fast. I haven't started mixing these two yet, but as soon as I do, I have about a 15 minute working time. Here is why I love using Quick Coat when I do alcohol ink to make the 3D effect. It dries a lot faster. So if you look at a lot of tutorials um, or try it yourself, when you do it with regular resin that cures over 24 hours, um, what you end up with is all of the ink color slowly soaks into the middle and the edges are clear. And so um, I tested this out on a different painting that I was doing and it seemed to really harden faster than um, the all of the alcohol was ink was able to go to the middle. So that was really exciting. So I'm going to try that again today and see what happens. Now that I have mixed A and B together, like I said, I have about 15 minutes of working time. Um, I am using, just as a couple money saving tips for you, these are little um, individual like mini tart pans that are made out of silicone that I got at Duran Fabric. Um, with a 40% off coupon. So it was $10 for a pack of like six of them. And I actually really liked the cute little scalloped edges because they thought that added a little bit of a different look to um, to the whole thing rather than just making like a coaster that's a round circle. Now the one thing about these is I'll probably do a top coat because these are not the shiny kind. So it won't, um, when it hardens, it won't be shiny and completely see-through, which for me is fine. I also use the quick coat to just cover things and I apologize if you see stuff all over. I'm also um, I'm doing top coats of a bunch of stuff today, so I have my quick coat out to do all that. But um, anyway, so we're going to get started here. I think I mixed the right amount for two. If I have extra for a third, I will pull a third of those little tart pans out. Just put some in each and see how I'm looking here. All right. So again, I am using Stone Coat Countertops Quick Coat, and um, I love this stuff. Just for some money saving tips, because you know that's always what I do with you guys. With the Stone Coat Countertop Quick Coat, even though I always tell everyone I never skimp on resin, it is not worth it to skimp on resin because it will yellow and it will just not be the right stuff. Um, I was able to watch a few of my uh, favorite artists on YouTube. And they were um, actually partnering with Stone Coat and giving discounts, so I got things at a bit of a discount. All right, I'm giving a really quick touch to these bubbles. You can melt your silicone if you're not careful. I'm just doing a little now, but I'll get a lot more of those bubbles at the end here. Um, anyway, so I got a discount on that. I got a discount on these molds. And then I am using Ranger Brand Ink, alcohol ink, um, in, let's see, watermelon turquoise, amethyst, and a little bit of rose gold, and then of course my white. Now if you haven't done alcohol ink before, one of the tricks to make these sink and look very nice is that the white alcohol ink weighs more than the rest. So after you put your colors of alcohol ink in, you just keep adding white on top. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do these kind of the same colors instead of trying to do two separate colors because I am um, making a pair of coasters. And the white alcohol ink, um, I got Pinata brand on Amazon. And then um, Hobby Lobby was having a sale on this little eyedropper container because I got the big um, amount of alcohol ink that didn't have a dropper. So. When they were having a sale, I got this for a dollar, and it works great, and it holds my alcohol ink in little bits at a time so that I can drop it on. So, this is all we do. Keep adding color, and then keep sinking the color. Some people like to, um, after the color's all in there, like take a stir stick or something and um, stir everything around so that there's an added like design on the inside. I'm not going to do that today because... Um, I'm newer to alcohol ink and I'm still kind of messing with it and I would rather just get my bearings first um, 
before I try to do any extra designs, I want to see basically if I can get this right. So I will do that first. All right, onto my purple. And using alcohol ink so far has been very cathartic just because it's so fun to watch um, as the design changes, as you drop things. And um, I will send you a link to her channel, but Abstract Boss does a lot of really cool alcohol ink stuff. And she was so kind as to leave me a message when I commented on her one of her videos telling me not to be afraid of the alcohol ink, to go for it, and it'll be messy, but it's super fun. And so, thank you, Abstract Boss. I'm trying it, and I will tell you my results. Now, um, alcohol inks, in general, you don't have to shake it all because the ink stays mixed completely throughout. They become, um, they, they become permanently mixed together, but not so with the metallics. So you do want to make sure you give the metallics a little shake. And they also are a little heavier and tend to sink. Well, I shouldn't say that, depending on the kind. Sometimes they feel like they sink a little more, but sometimes not. So they do tend to spread out a lot um, on the other side. Like, so this is actually the bottom of these and I'll flip them over afterward. And then um, the, the top side will be the other side of these. But the metallics seem to sink fast. So then sometimes they spread a little too far on the other side and kind of cover the top. And so I probably won't add a second amount of that gold just because I don't want to have so much metallic in there that um, it covers up the rest of things. So what we'll do is um, finish these, let them dry, and then I'll come back to you and show you the results. And then um, I will, like I said, need to do a top coat on the other side of just clear because with the mold I'm using, this is not going to come out clear on the other side. It'll come out um, just a little cloudy and you won't be able to see all the way in really nicely. And this is also kind of an experiment for me because I haven't tried these before. Um, so we'll see what happens. But as I'm doing this and looking at it, I feel like I want some green in there. So I'm going to do my second purple. And then we'll see. I know sometimes people talk about how the colors look amazing when they're done. And then other people say they mix together too much and look like mud. So we will add green and see what happens. And maybe it will be fabulous and maybe it will be muddy. Um, I'm going to grab this one is called a lettuce. I'm gonna add some of those and then I'll sink my green and my purple. And we'll just see what happens. Maybe I'm getting it too muddy. Maybe it'll look great. All right. But either way, these things are so fun. You don't have to use a ton of your product. So I don't feel like even if this doesn't come out the way I expect or hope it to, I don't feel like I'm wasting anything. I feel like I'm enjoying myself and having a good time and seeing what happens. And I love that because I feel like part of what we do, especially with painting, is obviously the finished product if you're going to sell it or whatever. But I mean, half of the fun is just being down here in my studio and hanging out and making art and watching it happen as I go. Um, and so even if things don't turn out perfectly, I have a lot of fun. So that's that. We've got a lot of color in there. Um, I will take the camera off in a second and give you a quick close up just so you can see what the ink's doing. But again, unless this turns out magical looking on this side, what I'll do is flip it over and these will actually be the bottom. And then um, we'll take a look at the top tomorrow after everything dries and hardens all the way. So here we go. Here's a little bit of a close up each one. Again, same colors in both. And um, I will show you guys in the next half of this video how it all turns out. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, I'm back to take out 
my um, resin and alcohol ink molds here. I'm super happy. What I was hoping was going to happen happened. I um, used the Stone Coat Countertops Quick Coat that hardens a lot faster and it gives you about 15 minutes working time and it did what I hoped it would do. The alcohol ink started to go into the middle but did not go fast enough and far enough that my edges all became clear. Super excited about that. I've already loosened the edges a little here so I'm going to um, go ahead and take these out the rest of the way. Ah, cool! So I don't know how close is too close for you, but give you a little close up of each of these. And um, after we do that, now like I said, the molds I'm using, awesome, the molds I'm using were not flat, so they're not, you know, they're, they've got little bumps and ridges in them, they're not shiny. So that means that these were not gonna come out shiny. So I've already got resin ready. Um, one more little bit of quick coat and I will show you how cool this looks once you add resin to it. And once you can see the depth in there a little bit better. Actually, I'm gonna let this pour over, so let me stick these on some little cups real quick and we'll let the, we'll let the resin go over the edges. But um, if you're gonna do a mold that doesn't have that shininess to it, you will end up with a dull finish. And so all you have to do is, um, you can either sand a whole bunch. Um, that's totally that's totally an option if you sand starting with a low number of grit and move progressively to higher, higher, higher numbers. But um, then you have to apply like a top coat of another product and stuff. And I find it's just easier to pour one more tiny layer of resin over the top and that takes care of the same thing. So let me make sure I go to my edges here. And then I will give you a close up of how cool this looks. Oh, super neat. I'm excited about it. All right. Um, so that is my big tip. In addition to the money saving tips I've given you, it is um, really great if you can use Stone Coats Quick Set because obviously um, I didn't lose any color in my edges. And that's the one thing I didn't like about all the, um, all the videos I'd seen with the alcohol ink and the resin is that you um, do your design and put color all through it and then half of the color disappears. So let me hit this real quick with my torch. If you're new to this, the torch gets rid of all of your bubbles quickly and easily. And you just wanna do it real quick. You don't wanna get anything too hot and make it burn. That's that. These are gonna dry this way. This is my finished product, and I'll take off my gloves and grab the camera, and I will give you a little close up of each one so you can see exactly how these look. They're pretty cool. See all the depth in there, and little parts that stick up. Pretty cool. Got a little resin left, so I'm probably gonna pour one more of these, but um pour it really deep and just see what happens with all my alcohol ink. So thank you guys as always for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like if you enjoyed my video.